Hello. Okay, it's time to do Wars either. Probably where it's been a little while since uh, last video. Um, been kind of busy preparing something special for uh, the official launch of Minecraft at Minecon. Um, but I have found some time out to do a few experiments. And I thought I'd introduce you to the new lift that we've discovered. Now, this is Piston Beach. This is where most of the piston experiments happen on our server. Now, I'm sure there's probably quite a few of you who watch videos uh, recognize this lift. It's the classic fence gate lift. See the fence gates here are a solid block and you can't go into them. But when you open them, fully transparent and you can pass inside. Now, because it's still a block, it also means it can be pushed. And due to this, we have an automatic lift. Let's get in. There we go. And out with the top. And back in again. And there we go. Now, uh, obviously, I'm not here to show you this lift, uh, as it's been seen countless times before. The lift I'd like to show you, I'm pretty sure that there's probably nobody done it before. Well, at least not what I've seen. Um, never know, somebody may have. But this lift, it's a little bit different. Now, I will just mention, uh, before we have a look at it, this is a default Minecraft texture pack and if I was to give you the schematic for this or the copy of the map this would look identical to anybody in standard vanilla Minecraft. So this is the lift. Now as you can see it looks just like the other lift but the fence gate blocks are missing. In fact it's just an empty space. Now. As you can see, there's nothing special going on around the back or anything. It literally is the other lift, but the blocks are missing. However, as you can see, it's a fully functioning lift. Blocks are moving without being pushed. Just climb in. And at the top. And back down again. Now, if we just have a closer look, you'll notice there's actually blocks here, but they're invisible. Now, obviously, I told you this is the default Minecraft texture pack. I'm not using an invisible texture pack or anything. But what I'm going to do is show you how to actually make these. Now, these were discovered purely by accident um, due to a mistype on the keyboard whilst kind of tired editing the server one night. Now, what you actually need for these are stair blocks. Now, obviously there are four different types of stair blocks. So we've got your wooden one, your cobblestone, your brick, and your stone bricks. Now, for this you do actually need a tool, it's known as Voxel Sniper. Now one of the things this tool enables you to do is input data values into blocks, although it refers to them as ink. Now what blocks store in the data values, stairs in particular store which direction they're facing. So I shall just demonstrate, I will get a sniper brush for inputting inks. And I'll give the data value or the voxel ink of 1. So as you see, sniper 1 in and the stairs face south. Works the same on all of them. If I was to do 2, they're now facing east. However, Accidentally, I selected four. 
Now, 4 doesn't actually exist as a data value for stairs. Now, whether this particular thing will be fixed or not, I'm honestly not sure. But if you snipe a 4 in, or any number that's not a standard one, which for stairs is 0, 1, 2, or 3, it disappears. Now, I wouldn't bother doing it with the brick stairs or the stone brick stairs, because they, for some reason, still leave a shadow behind. But the cobblestone and wood stairs don't. For all intents and purposes, they no longer exist. In fact, I can walk straight through them. However, they do exist for everything except you. So you can set blocks on them. And as you can see from here, they could also be pushed. We've sniped that in, and I can walk straight through. Now, a good one to select so that you don't get confused is to have minus one. Um, minus one, obviously, that way you don't get confused with any other values. And but it does mean that you have fully pushable, fully transparent blocks. I will show by putting a correct data value into these ones. As you can see, there they are. Get the lever, and round they go. And switch back to something it shouldn't be. And they're gone, and transparent. So there you go. Um, obviously I'm looking into a uh, version of expanding it. There was, I believe, round about version 1.7. There was a larger lift design that used doors um, to allow a 2x2 two two lift to be pushed. Um, obviously that got fixed so the doors broke. But that design could quite easily work again with this. In fact, this could enable you to do all sorts of things. And as I says, purely by accident, typed in the wrong data value, and uh, discovered this. So, uh, any queries, or if you want to give it a try yourself, or want a copy of the map or anything, just uh, leave it in the comments. Okay, cheers.